fire from the vehicle as he was driving down Laurel Street. He was shooting out the window. I had to run up my stairs because I had the door open. All right. The, uh, what's being described as an IED is on Laurel. What's being described as an IED is on Laurel? There's an IED on our street, honey. That's what they're saying. Okay, uh, uh, Sh Shane and Sean, Bear if you would us, just yeah. hold on for a second. Let, let's, it's 1 o'clock in the morning, and, and a lot of things have been happening. So, Liz, let's, let's just begin step by step going through how, well, we, how we've gotten this, to 1 o'clock in the morning. This all started around 10.30 or 10.45 in the evening. News Center 5's Kimberly Bookman was at the MGH hospital, and she saw ambulances rushing, and she was there on an, an entirely different story. She saw the ambulances rushing in, and following behind the ambulance was an MIT campus police cruiser. Subsequently, she and many other media relocated to the MIT campus because there was a concern of some sort of a disturbance on the MIT campus and that an officer had, in fact, been shot. We later learned that, yes, in fact, a male officer had been shot on the MIT campus and was taken to Mass General Hospital. There was a huge police presence there with canine dogs and Massachusetts State Police activity going on. And then we had a second incident happen, which was down the road at the Charles, um, Charles Liz, Street. Liz, are you there? Yes, yeah, I am. Go ahead. The report that police are hearing right now is that there, uh, there is a suspect down on the ground, struck multiple times, they're still telling the officers to keep long guns, rifles pointed at that suspect. Rifles still pointed at the suspect. And, and keep you in mind, these are suspects who uh, the police were saying were throwing explosives on them. Uh, so there's still a threat. So uh, you said suspect, Sean. So the other one is still at large, correct? The other suspect has apparently gotten into another vehicle. The report was an SUV and has fled the scene. The last report we heard is that one of the windows in that vehicle was blown out. Okay. Okay. So, so Liz mentioned the, the shooting and the, and the tragic passing of, of an MIT uh, campus officer. There were two other episodes that don't appear to have been connected at all to this. There was something at the Charles MGH station, and there was the report of a suspicious package in Cambridge. Each has been cleared. They've been removed from the, from the scene. At, at, and, and then suddenly, within a short period of time, this, it, this, this immediate car chase developed, a carjacking developed, which took it from Cambridge into Watertown. Well, we learned now, of are the, they connected? That's the question. Well, we learned of the two crime scenes at the moment.